Hi everybody, I'm Ariel. Let me tell you a story about, a story about how I started using NixOS. Uh, my friends were like, hey, this is great. It's reproducible, declarative and everything. So I'm like, cool, I'll create a VM and I'll create a user on that VM so I can play around and it's declarative. So I'll set a password for that user declaratively. Should be easy, right? So the very first option I looked up was how do you set a password for a user? Users, users, name, password, like pretty easy, right? Oh wait, the help says don't use that because it's terribly insecure. Turns out Nix is not great with secrets because Nix is a package manager and package managers don't typically carry secrets around. They build, you know, especially for Nix, mostly open source software. So it really wants to put all the source and all the products in the store and the store is word readable. But Nixos is an operating system and operating systems do need some secret management. Like you have stuff in Etsy or in your home directory if you're using home manager, like that stuff you don't want everybody to read it, or at least not in, in clear text. So I wasn't super impressed by this um, first experience. So the next thing I did was look at, well, how do people manage secrets in there? Uh, because it's a problem we've all faced, or like many of us have faced, this is a fertile ground for invention. Um, there's this wiki page that's completely unreadable on the screen, that's kind of unavoidable. It has eight entries. Uh, they're all actually very interesting and good, but basically what they all do is they say, well, secrets should be managed outside of Nix. Like we'll just hook in uh, either in like some system D units or we'll put that in the activation script or like completely outside of all that, but just don't put it in Nix. Um, and you know, that works, um, but it has one small problem, which is everybody's doing different things and not in Nix. And that means that Nixos modules aren't really designed to work with secrets managed that way. And the second order effect of that is that this is making the easy thing dangerous and the right thing hard. Like if you do want to set your user's password, you're probably gonna use that option. It's very attractive. And if you have a multi-user system, you're doing something really wrong that way. So we need to do something where what is right is easy. Otherwise, as an OS, we're probably going to set ourselves up for um, a big failure. So we're building on systemd, and turns out systemd has systemd credentials management. Um, it's pretty easy to use, honestly. I mean, the command lines are scary, but that's just like systemd in general. Very quickly, what it does is it encrypts a secret to a per host key. If you have a TPM, it uses that um, to back that key. And nice bonus, it manages your secrets um, uh, ownership and permissions for you because it only makes them available to the unit that you wanted there, uh, which is kind of nice when you use other solutions in the wiki page. Many of them, you have to manage permissions by hand. It's a little complicated. This actually is sort of used in uh, Nixos. Uh, there was this issue that discussed, can we use that for secrets? And we closed it successfully saying, yes, we can use that, but then we never actually used it. It never is a, a, like, it's not true. We used it in about 15 modules, but only for the unencrypted version where the secret is still in clear text. So it doesn't quite work. But I have a proof of concept in creating with uh, Aginix, which is one of the eight entries in the, in the wiki. Uh, that encrypts to the per host key. So where can we go from there? Well, good patterns, I think, in Nixos tend to emerge from you know, people doing something and recognizing it's successful and then copying from each other and just kind of evolving organically and then they get standardized. So I'd love to talk to people during the hack day about, hey, how would you like to use this in your system? Can we try some approaches? Can we hack on some tooling and see what works for you? Um, and then, you know, once that works, we can drive some adoption. Also, I saw somebody with a system D t-shirt yesterday. I'd love to talk to you because there is one small to-do about asymmetric encryption for this in system D. Uh, and that would make things so much easier. So uh, come talk to me if you're interested in any of that. I'll probably be behind the bar most of today. And this is my contact info. Thank you.